Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the dreaded multiple stop passenger. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'm sure pretty much all of you have had a passenger that wanted to make a stop or multiple stops. Go to the grocery store, then go to the bank, etc. First, if you get a passenger you can tell is using the service as a personal chauffeur platform, cancel that ride, get your cancel fee, contact support, and let them know that that passenger is abusing the platform. Lyft and Uber are not personal chauffeur services, however, if a passenger wants to make a stop, depending on where it is, it can be acceptable. If they want to go grocery shopping, or want you to wait outside the DMV for them, not acceptable. Let's say they need to run a real quick errand, like going to the gas station convenience store for a drink or some gum. These types of stops are acceptable, but you have to lay down some ground rules for them so they know what's up. Before they get out of the car, tell them you're waiting 5 minutes and that's it. After 5 minutes, you're leaving, if they're there or not. Make sure you don't cancel the ride, just click drop off and drive away and wait for your next ping. You also want to make sure you take a screenshot of the 5 minutes waited if you leave them in the dust. Because if you leave them, you're pretty much guaranteed a 1 star from that passenger and their entitlement slash inconsiderateness. So once you see that 1 star ruining your rating, contact support, send them the screenshot, and tell them what happened. And have them remove the bad rating because it's not your fault. Why 5 minutes you might ask? 5 minutes is the standard wait time for stops considering we make next to nothing for wait time. And much more of our money is made driving miles. Also. By giving the passenger a 5 minute timer, this creates urgency and makes them want to hurry up and get their chore done fast. Also make sure that you have them take all their personal belongings with them when they leave. You wouldn't want to drive off with their personal items in your car because that's just not going to be a good situation for you. Like the Uber driver that did that a few months ago when he drove off with the guy's luggage, his passport, and $8,000. I'm sure that driver was deactivated after that fiasco. I'd advise only one stop too. If they want to make multiple stops, that's turning into personal chauffeur service territory. Drivers, do you have any funny or crazy passenger stop stories? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.